never lied to you. You didn't tell me about the money. That's because it wasn't important. Victoria, we have gone round and round about this. How can it not be obvious to you that I didn't marry you for the money? Have you forgotten how concerned I was about you even before I knew you were pregnant? No, I don't deny that. We were good friends, but that's all it was. Mason, I was bowled over when you asked me to marry you. I didn't stop to question your motives. What if I asked you to tell C.C. that we refuse the inheritance, that he should just put it in trust for the new Capwell heir? Well, why should we do that? My grandfather wanted the first great-grandson to have that inheritance. You'd be robbing your own child. Don't you see, Mason? You can't even give up the money if I ask you to. If it was money that I wanted, Victoria, I could have had plenty of it in my own, not as trustee for somebody else. My father even offered and offered to pay me to marry you. They all think I'm dead? Cruz, my family? I didn't show you this to upset you. I just want you to know you have a choice. Between what? Lying here in the middle of nowhere and having you take care of me like I was a child or having my family take care of me and in Cruz. Maybe you think about him too much. He's all I have been thinking about. Ever since I woke up here, I kept thinking he's out there looking for me. I expected him to come in that door any minute and take me away and take me home. But now I know that's not going to happen because he thinks I'm dead. Where did you get that paper? You, you said you couldn't get anything. Oh, you wait, said that you down, couldn't go calm anywhere. Down, and... Calm down. I picked it up on the way out of the hospital. You, you knew? Even then? I didn't read it until we got back here. And then it was too late to do anything about it. I knew you'd be upset. How long ago was that? More than a week, closer to two. You mean they thought I've been dead for over a week? Yeah. So, so you see, the damage is done. It, it's not like you're going to hurt them anymore. If, if you want to wait until you're walking before you... Are you saying that you don't care if I spend what's left of the rest of my life here? I'm saying you don't ever have to leave here on account of me. That's a promise. Thanks a lot, pal. What's going on? There's somebody's up on the roof threatening to jump off. Do you have any idea who it is? Yeah, some young chick. She's a friend of Ted and Haley's, and guess what? Cruz is up there on the ledge with her. Cruz is not in any situation to be handling this You right got now. it. Let's boogie. Lucy, there are compassionate people in this world. People who will love you and understand you. I know they exist because one of them came into my life out of the blue and understood me. You just have to be patient with me. You just have to give them a chance. Lucy. No, don't, don't! What has he done? What he's done is count me out of two million dollars. That's what he's done. No, wait a second. I don't understand. You didn't have any problem giving him that money. Yeah, well, I tried to convince myself that he was doing something productive. But I couldn't shake that gnawing suspicion, I'll tell you that. Why, why did he want that money from you? He said he had to do with the law firm. You see, he told me one of his uh, senior partners, one of the senior partners, not his, is going to retire. And he wanted to buy his interest. Well, that sounds pretty legitimate to me. It's a bloody lie is what it is. There's no senior partner retiring at this point in time. Cece, wait a minute. Now, there's probably a mistake. There's an easy explanation. There's been a change. Mason may be privy to some sort of information you that your sources are. Stop trying to defend him. I'm not crazy. I'm not mistaken. That's what Mason's done. Probably using the money, the borrowed money, for some underhanded reason. Why do you enjoy always assuming the worst of Mason. You can only uh, judge someone on past performance, can't you? And every time I'm about to assume the worst of Mason, he, uh, he doesn't disappoint me. Oh, you see, 
Would you listen to me? This is not the time for this family and for you and Mason to be at each other's throats. You know, he's, uh, his timing is wonderful. He even took advantage of my vulnerability. He probably figured I was too upset about Eden to even check up on him. I wish you hadn't. This is not the time for us to be pulling away from each other. It's the time for us to be pulling together. Don't, don't you lay this at my feet. Mason's wrong about this. There's no other way out of it. All right, fine. Let's say he lied to you. Why can't you just let it go for a while? I will not. Because if I can find out what he's up to before it's too late, maybe I can stop him. Cece! He offered you money to marry him? Well, now it all makes sense. He never wanted me in the family in the first place. It was just to protect Eden. He tried to bribe you? I'd already decided that I wanted to marry you. You know how I feel about my father. I told him I wouldn't take his money. Yes, but you would take your grandfather's. Because then you would be able to compete with CC on his level. That's what life is to the Capwells, a big competition. It's a game that you play with money. Victoria, would you listen to yourself? Even if I had wanted the money, there was no guarantee that you were going to have a boy. There was a 50-50 chance we wouldn't come into the inheritance at all. And that made it all the more exciting to you, didn't it? Damn it. Victoria... You and the baby have been the center of my life since I asked you to marry me. If you don't know by now how much I care about you, if something like this undermines the foundation of the entire relationship, I have nothing else to say. I can't imagine the pain he must be going through. I know if anything happened to Cruz, I'd want to know where he was. I would never want to give up on him, no matter what. Look, you don't have any other choice right now. Wait. Why is it that they got, I died in a plane crash? I, I don't understand. W would you read the article to me, please? No, you, you don't want to hear yes, this Yes, I now. do. I do. I want to hear it. I want to know why they thought I died in the plane crash. Uh, the daughter of C.C. Capwell, Industrialist Tycoon, was killed yesterday when a charter plane she was piloting exploded in midair over the Wasatch Mountains. Uh, Eden Capwell of Santa Barbara, California, was flying to a remote area near uh, Bountiful Peak where she and her fiancé were to be wed. There are no other passengers in the single-engine private plane. I don't understand why they thought I would be on the plane when I, I didn't even get there. Somebody else was flying the plane. Somebody else died. What else does it say in the article? Nothing. No, it has to say something. There's got to be a reason why they thought I was on the plane, Kane. No, I, I, I read everything it said about you. Kane, no, don't do that. How could you do that to me? What's the matter? Don't you believe me? I think you were going to make it. That's kind of a close call. If you'd fallen, it would have been my fault. Are you out of your mind? I'm the one who just pulled that damn fool stunt. If you hadn't grabbed me, I'd be a mess. saved my life. You could have let me fall. No, I couldn't. I had to help you. 
Why? Well, because you would have been killed. So what are you telling me? It's better to be alive than dead? Well, for you. And I think for you, darling, I think for you, too. If you wanted to die, you would have jumped when you came out here. Something made you hesitate. Because something in you wants another chance. I don't know. There is... There's some part of me that says I don't want to. And there's a part of me that says I want to try. What do you say we get off this damn ledge? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, Rod. I am so proud of you, Brad, enough Gus to change your mind about thank this. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Just take care of her. Castillo. Hey, my man, you saved that chick's life. You almost gave me a heart attack. You know that? Yeah, I'm sorry. You did good. Thanks. I didn't know that you were a stuntman. What does that mean? You took that fall on purpose to help that girl, didn't you? Yeah, right. Anything for a laugh, you know me. Look, I gotta get out of here. Inspector Garcia. Radio. Uh, Inspector Garcia. Radio. Radio. No one. Doesn't make any sense. I remember calling the man at the airport. Obviously, somebody got confused. You know, we weren't there. We, we can't figure it out. Just forget about it. Wait. I remember driving. I was driving to the airport and there was a woman. She was standing off to the side of the road. She wanted a ride. I remember I picked her up. I can't remember what she looks like. I don't know what happened after that, but I know I didn't get to the airport. If I can remember who she was, then maybe I maybe she knows what happened. You best concentrate on getting your strength and movement back. Do you want some of this? No, it came in the wreckage. There must have been something. There must have been something that made them realize I was on the plane. Some identification papers in my purse. Did you find my purse with me when you found me? No, no. Well, there must have been something. Did they say anything about a body? Did they say anything in the paper about that? They said the plane exploded in midair and there was no body found. They didn't expect to find one. Well, then Cruz won't give up. He has given up, and I think it's about time you face that fact. They've all come to grips with the news of your death, and they've gone on with their lives. You don't know that? Eden, I am not trying to be cruel, but it's been well over a week since they declared you dead. People go on. I'm sure they had a nice memorial service for you. I'm sure there's still a lot of pain. But the worst is over for them. But it isn't right. <sighs> no. But right now we don't have a choice. I'm... I can't leave you alone long enough to go inform them and then wait for them to show up and then lead them back out here. I don't think you'd want me to do that. No. You said before that you didn't want to go back to them if you were still like this. You have that chance now. You just take the time and work very hard to get your movement back. Then by the time you are able to get in touch with them, you won't be so helpless. But for now, there's no way we can. When you get better and the snow melts, then we'll go. 
What if I don't get better? I told you. You don't want to go back to your family this way. You don't have to. I don't think it would be fair to my family to cruise. That's a decision only you can make for yourself. But you don't have to make it now. Because right now, there's no way you're leaving this cabin. Good evening, Victoria. Is Mason here? No, and I don't know when he'll be back. I'll try to catch him in the morning. CC, may I speak to you for a moment, please? Of course. What is it? I need to ask you a question. I think Mason married me for my baby's inheritance from your father. How did you come to that conclusion? Well, I really didn't know anything about it. I sort of tricked you into telling me the details. Mason told you nothing about it? No. Probably because he didn't want me to know that's why he was marrying me. Well, Mason's motives for whatever he does, so... Never cease to amaze me. He told me that you encouraged him to marry me. That you even offered him money because you were so desperate to protect Eden. I will not discuss Eden with you, Fine. Victoria. Fine. Please tell me the truth. Did he marry me for the inheritance? I accused him of the same thing, and he vehemently denied it, but that's far for the course. Look, you've been married to the man for a while. You know he has certain passions. One of them is power, another one is money. Yes, I don't think he's in the quite the same league as you are, but I've noticed that about him, yes. Well, if it means anything, he turned down the money I offered. Yes, I know. He told me. Then again, it's just a mere pittance compared to what the child will inherit, provided it's a boy. You're a very attractive woman, Victoria. Even with 50, 50 odds, you and the money make a very pretty package. So all he has to do to get the inheritance is to hold on to me. How could he? How could he know? How could he do anything till he finds out if the baby is a boy or a girl? It's a boy, Cece. I'm surprised your good friend, Dr. Ballard, didn't race over to tell you. A boy, you're certain? Yes. And all he has to do is stay married to me, and he'll get all that money that you Capwells cherish so dearly. Are you sure this is all right? Of course, I want you to stay with Honey, me. Yeah, time. you can stay here as long as you want. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. I don't... I, I really want to tell you that I'm very sorry about everything I put you both through, and I got them. I don't know how you guys are putting up with me. Hey, I want you to wear your friends, all right? Look, you must be really exhausted. Why don't we go back and lie down, you know? I'm really not. I, I actually feel pretty good about myself. I feel like I'm on my way. I mean, I know I have a long way to go and all, but I've made a start and I'm not alone. No. Thank you. Not. Would it be all right if I just go and take a hot bath? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. You'll find everything better. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. She came so close to actually doing it. Almost killing herself. It would have been the biggest waste. She has too much to live for. God, I'm just so glad Cruz showed up. You were really strong for her, you know? Love you.
they got the old home set up for sale, Mike. Yeah, you said a price? What is it with you, man? I uh, just want to tell you that Phillips dropped the charge. So what? Well, I, personally, I'm not going to press any charges myself for rearranging my face. Here. I want you back on the force. What's in it for you? I, uh, you're just a great cop. You proved that today. I mean, not only do you catch the bad guys, but you also keep pretty girls from jumping off the buildings. I'd be a pretty lousy DA if I let you walk off the force. Uh, you keep it. <laughs> um, you know, I'm sincere about this. I busted the gut trying to protect you. And I think the least you could do is, you know... Don't call me. I know what you're... You just want to cash in on the publicity from tonight. Well, there is a certain appeal in that. Well, if you think I'm going to lift a finger to spruce up your image, you're out of your mind. Now get out of here before I throw you out. Oh, hey. No violence, man. You know? I may not be so lean at this time. Get out. You know, if you really want to sell this place, I could take it off your hand. Ah, oh, yeah. The scavenger smells the rotting flesh and circles in for a closer look. Just wanted to hear the price. Get out. Tori's just as bad as Mason. She married him because she was pregnant. Family's a lot better off without her and her son. Son? Yes, her son. That baby she's carrying is a boy. They don't have a boy? That's right. They can tell these things early these days. Takes the fun out of everything, doesn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm starting to understand. Yes, you are, huh? Well, that child's going to inherit a great deal of money. And the last thing that you want is for a child to get any Capwell money unless he is a certified 100% Capwell. What the hell is wrong with that? The child is not a blood relative. Why should he inherit any money? As far as the world's concerned, C.C., that child is a blood relative and will remain a blood relative and no one will say anything to the contrary. We're not the only one who know that this is Cruz's baby, you know. Haley and Ted know about it. They certainly do, and I trust them not to say anything. Oh, you do? What happens if Haley has a boy of her own? What do you think she's going to do? She's going to accept, quote, Mason's child as the heir apparent, or she want her own son to be the heir? I can't believe you. Don't you realize that everyone doesn't have such a grand passion for money that it would supersede their own common decency? What is decent about keeping a man like Cruz from knowing that the baby is his? Eden has died. Don't you think it would ease Cruz a lot to know that that child is his? Ease his pain? Oh, C.C. Don't you dare stoop so low that you would use Cruz's grief as an excuse to tell him about that baby. This is just about you, C.C., and your Capwell dynasty. And don't you insult my intelligence to tell me anything otherwise. Well, I'm going to tell you that I'm trying to do what God entrusted me to do with my family, my real family, and that is take care of them. Then allow Mason his happiness. And you are content to ignore what the hell he has done to me. I will not stand by and let you ruin his life because you want to get even. If you tell one person that Cruz is the father of that baby, I'll never forgive you. in a cruel world. Mason, I came out here so I could be alone. I need to think of something by myself. Oh. Hmm. But you, you don't own this beach, Cruz.
You know, there's a great inequity in our creation. Cruz, all men are not created equal. Some men are created to spend their lives with a woman, and some men are created to spend their lives alone. I don't know if created is the right word that I'm looking for. I, I don't normally have trouble finding the right word, but tonight I'm a little, I'm a little cold. But nonetheless, I'm one of those men that's destined, destined is a better word, to spend my life alone. And you, my bombed beach buddy, are destined to spend your life with a woman, with Eden. You and Eden were meant to be together. In spite of my jaded demeanor, I am absolutely sure of that. You two were meant for each other. And now, God, why were they taken away from us? Just when your life starts to take on some meaning, take some shape. You have a wife and a baby on the way. You should go home to them. There's no reason to go home, because everything's changed. Eden's gone. Everything's different to all of us. It doesn't have to change for you and Victoria. One time in my life, I tried to do something selfless. My virginal attempt to become a decent human being. And she doesn't believe me. What are you talking about? There's no point in keeping and keeping it a secret any longer. I don't need to hear your secrets. This secret is not exclusively mine. I don't care. I want you to leave me alone. Where do I have to go to find somebody to leave me alone? You're not going to change the subject, Cruz. I've made up my mind. And I will not be, be diverted. It has to do with Victoria's baby. Um, if the baby is a girl, we want to name it Eden. That's all right with you. Go ahead. Good. That's what I was, um, that's what I was hoping you'd say. Well, you'll be happy to know that I'm going to, um, grant your, grant your request and leave you alone with your thoughts. I know it's a little late, but I owe you an apology for the way I behaved after Haley was attacked. I was hard on the two of you when you needed my support and my understanding. I didn't give it to you, and I'm sorry. Tommy's the therapy's working for you. I'm very happy about that. Thank you, Dad. Look, son, I know I don't say this enough. I love my children very much. We've all suffered with the loss of Eden. 
Now I think about all the things that I wanted to say to her that I never said. I wish I could have said it. I'm saying to you now, it's very important for you to know that I care about you and I wouldn't hurt you in any way and I only want is the best for you and all of us. Give up your fight to get your movement back. And even if you did have to stay in a wheelchair, you'd deal with it. Maybe. Maybe I'm a coward, but I'm not sure I'd want to try. I think I could force myself to. But if I went back to Cruz, I know that he would never leave me no matter what. Even if I couldn't have children. Make love. Maybe because he knows I'm dead, it's better. You don't have to decide that now. It's best you don't even think about it until you get better. And you're going to get better. I need some air. Tonight. I was just kind of hoping if I could talk to you for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm glad you're back. Come on. All right. I was just about to get some milk. Would you like something? No, no, I'm fine. I'm just going to be here for a few minutes. Um, is Lucy already in bed? Yeah. Oh, she was exhausted. I don't think she slept in days. Yeah, I know. Um, anyhow, uh, I was just talking to Dad for a few minutes, and uh, he said something to me that I just feel like I need to talk to you about it right There's now. Is something wrong? No, no, it, it's not bad. It, I mean, actually, it was kind of nice. You know, sometimes Dad can say some kind of surprising things. Uh, he just mentioned that there were some things that he wanted to say to Eden. And he, he never got a chance to say. So tonight, I, I just want to tell you that I was really scared. Not Dad. I was scared too, that's okay. I mean, I really, I really thought she was going to jump. Yeah, well, I mean, I was scared for Lucy, but I was also scared for you. I, I, I know what she was gone through. I mean, we saw what it almost drove her to. Honey, you've been through that same hell, and I just want to make sure that if you ever feel like your life, it, you know, is not going the way it should be, if it feels like it's going like Lucy's, that you would talk to me. 
you know, so I could do something about it. Because, honey, I could not stand to lose you. It'll never be that bad for me because I have too much to live for. late for you to be making a house call? What are you, my lawyer or my doctor? <laughs> Hello, George. Sorry to bother you, CC. Good evening, Sophia. Yeah, if this has anything to do with the contract on that takeover. No, baby. no, no, that's all going well. But I did receive a rather disturbing call from one of the attorneys at uh, Caulfield McKenna. If this concerns Mason, let's... No, no. Oh, that's right. Mason is with him. Mm -hmm. Well, this doesn't concern him. Apparently, a will has been found. A will? Yeah. I was told that Eden had a will drawn up a short time ago. We're going to have to arrange a reading. A will? He'd never told anyone. Do you have any idea what's in it? No, I don't. I didn't have uh, very much success trying to get information from that attorney. But he did make a remark off the cuff to the effect that you in particular would find the contents quite startling. Victoria, open this door and let me in. Victoria! Victoria, that's not funny. I just kept looking for you, darling. I can't walk. I'm paralyzed. That's not true. It is true. I can't even... I feel that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Get up. Come no. on. Now get up. Come on.
Tonight, you'll some pet owners treat their family animals better than they treat even their own family. Tony Pagnotti finds out why pets are people too, beginning Tuesday at 5, only on Channel 2 News.